information about the temple. So by y'all being elders and being in the temple, as long as y'all have, I, I like for y'all to explain who, who, what your station is in the temple, how y'all came in the temple and, uh, what the temple has done for y'all and things of that nature. Once we open up, we haven't officially opened up yet, brother Perez. We have a, we have a, 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 a protocol on how we open up. Uh, so just give us a brief and then we'll, we'll be more than happy to, uh, you know, talk to you about temple business and things of that nature. I'm just trying to get everything, get everything together at the moment. One moment, bro. Mo, Mo, while you doing that, Mo, while you doing that, I, I, like to, I like to talk to the brother a minute. If that's all right with y'all. Yeah, that's peace, Mo. Go ahead. It's love. Uh, brother Perez. Yes. Uh, uh, are you are you Puerto Rican, brother? No. D for argument's sake, I'll say I'll, I'll say Dominican. Okay. It's the same people. It's the Dominican. same people. Yeah, meaning that you. Your people came from the islands. Yes. Okay. Is that is that Perez? Is that Spanish or Portuguese? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not even going to lie to you and go. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> don't know. Did, did you ever hear uh, George? Um, oh wow, the, the Mexican comedian um, Lopez. Yeah, George Lopez breakdown of the. Uh, of the name? No. I know of George Lopez, but I never heard him break down the name. Yeah. He, he broke down, uh, he broke down the names. He broke down, um, uh, I think he was talking about Hispanics. Uh, all that, uh, is, is, uh, is fiction as to who they really are, right? And he was, he didn't say it, but he alluded to it, tied it back into a more, a more civilization. Because you know, once the Moors uh, came out of or, or, or uh, fell from Andalusia, that created the so-called Spanish Empire, if you will, right? Right. Maybe one part of it, right? Right. After 1492. After 1492, right? So a lot of the uh, so-called Hispanic brothers and sisters. Who are more decent has that has that direct connection to the language because a lot of the language. Oh, my phone fell. Oh wow, I lost Mo. Wait a minute, I might be able to slide it back. Let me see something. Okay, I there you go. Uh, excuse me, I apologize. My phone fell. Uh, now, wait a, a lot of the language. Yes, a lot, a lot of the language. Um, uh, in Spanish, have a lot of the Arabic words. Yes. Hebrew words. Yes. And a lot of places in the do. Oh, my phone. Wait, 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 one second. Uh, yeah. In uh, Dominican, uh, I try to connect with his brother in uh, Houston, Texas, by the name of Jamie. Um, oh, wow. I think his name was Jamie Lopez. He's, he's like. He's a director of a uh, of a mosque in Dallas. Are you familiar with him? No, sir. Okay, but he shows uh, a lot of a lot of the uh, uh, um, structures, buildings, temples, old churches, look like mosques in, in in Dominican and in, in uh, Colombia. You know, all down in South South Central America. It was it was a mirror, kind of like a mirror image of. Uh, Andalusia, Spain, when the Moors were running Spain. Are you right. familiar with that? Yes. Yeah. Are you familiar <coughs> that the Moors empires uh, before 1492 had a connection with the Mexicans in terms of the gold? Yes, yes, with the, Incas, with, with, with the Incas and the Aztecs. Right. Right. Okay. Brother knows history. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit, not not much, just just a little. Hey man, you know what? Well, you I'm know afraid, a whole I'm lot. I'm afraid to say I don't know. Well, just just like Van Sertima said, brother, I was Van Sertima, uh, a very prominent historian, 
stated that our history is like a floating diamond or, 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 or a shattered star, right? That the different parts have to be brought back together before we understand the whole dynamic of it. You know, you know what I mean? Right. Because right. it was done... I, I would say that the fall of Granada, that it just didn't initiate in 1492 that it's probably been uh, brewing for a couple hundred years and, and I say this based on amalgamation something that Prophet Noah Drali uh, states um, in his all traditions where he make reference to the fact that one of the reasons it's so hard for us to get it together is we had a bloodline of so many different people running through our veins Islam and, and, and some of this was good and some of it wasn't good. Some of it came through conquest. Some of it didn't come through conquest. Remember, when we went into Spain, we didn't have no circles with us. We didn't take circles with us. I think it was, uh, what, uh, maybe a handful, a couple of hundred. And the brothers said, burn the ship. We ain't going back. We're going we gonna to take this country. And we proceeded from that point forth. As long as I see you with your hand, I'm going <laughs> All right, time never was. We give honors to Allah and we give our honors to the Prophet. Act two, in part. Salvation, Allah, unity. The Moorish Science Temple of America, the Divine Constitutions and Bylaws, Act 2, in part. All meetings are to be open and closed promptly, according to the Circle 7, in love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. The Holy Quran of the Moorish Science Temple of America, Circle 7, divinely prepared by the noble prophet Drew Ali by the guiding of his father God Allah, the great God of the universe, to redeem man from his sinful and fallen stage of humanity back to the highest plane of life with his father God Allah. I am the Grand Sheik, Chairman of Moorish Science Temple of America, the Divine and National Movement Incorporated number 13, Indianapolis, Indiana. I'd like to welcome you all, guests, friends, and well-wishers to our virtual temple this evening. I give honors to all of you who honor the House of Drew. I give honors to the, Amer to the Moorish American flag, which is over 10,000 years old. It is a red flag with a five-pointed green star in the center. And those five principles represent and demonstrate the highest five principles known to man, which are love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. I give honors to the American flag for it sustained us while we slept. I give honors to the Moorish literature. I give honors to the Holy Quran of Mecca. I give honors to our grand governor on this site, Brother Frank Maddox Bay. I give honors to our sister, for going on the highways and byways from Baltimore, D.C., all the way to Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Maryland, to Washington, D.C., pardon the body, for making sure that all the information stays intact and that we keep these temple doors open. That would be Sheikah's and Divine Minister, Sister Sims Ill. I give honors to our brother, a guest and well-wisher, Brother Perez Ill, for being on the site today. I give honors to our sister Ter Terry, Ter Terry Tri Triana, pardon me if I messed your name up, uh, and all the other guests and well wishes who are on us, with us spiritually today on the call. At this point in time, I now turn the meeting over to our Sheikahs so she can please lead us in the Moorish American prayer. Islam. For those who can stand and face the east, and I'm going to be out of the frame because I have to stand up and turn. To rise and face the east for prayer. I ask that every 
everyone put their feet on the 45 degree angle, those who are choosing to pray with us. Bring your shoulders up. Five fingers on your left hand and two on your right. And I'm going to ask that because we are on this, these different um, social media uh, forms, I'll say the prayer and we don't have to repeat it behind me. It's long, a long father of the universe, a father of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Allah is my protector, my God, God. and my salvation. salvation. By night, night and by day. By day. Through his holy prophet, oh, through all of you. Amen. <laughs> And I will turn the meeting back over to Brother Sheik Powell Eel. Gratitude, my sister Sheik and Sims Eel and Divine Minister for leading us in our Moorish American prayer. Now, I will continue with reading of the Moorish Science Temple, the Divine and National Movement, Constitutions, and Bylaws. Okay? This is our constitution and our bylaws. This is how you properly open up. Salvation of Law Unity. The, Mo the Moore Science Temple of America, the Divine Constitutions and Bylaws, Act 1. The Grand Sheik and the Chairman of the Moore Science Temple of America is in power to make law and enforce laws with the assistance of the prophet and the grand body of the Moore Science Temple of America. The assistant grand sheik is to assist the grand sheik in all affairs if he lives according to love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. And it is known before the members of the Moore Science Temple of America. Act 2. All meetings are to be open and closed properly according to the Circle 7 in love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Friday is our only day of rest because on a Friday, the first man was formed in flesh. And on a Friday, the first man departed out of flesh and ascended into his father, God Allah. For that cause, Friday is the only day for all Muslims all over the world. Act three, love, truth, peace, freedom and justice must be proclaimed and practiced by all members of the Moore Science Temple of America. No member is to put in danger or accuse falsely his brother or sister or any occasion at all that may harm his brother or sister. Because Allah is love. Act 4. All members must preserve these holy and divine laws. And all members must obey the laws of the government. Because by being a Moorish American, you are part and partial of the government and must live the life accordingly. Act 5. This organization of the Moore Science Temple of America is not to cause any confusion or to overthrow the laws and constitution of the said government, but to obey hereby. Act 6. With us, all members must proclaim their nationality. And we are teaching our people their nationality and their divine creed that they may know that they are part and parcel of this said government and know that they are not Negroes, color folks, black people, or Ethiopians. Because these names were given to slaves by slaveholders in 1779 and lasted until 1865 during the time of slavery. But this is a new era of time now. And all men now must proclaim their free national name to be recognized by the government in which they live and the nations of the earth. This is the reason why Allah, the great God of the universe, ordained noble Drew Ali the prophet to redeem his people from their sinful ways. The Moorish Americans are the descendants of the ancient Moabites whom inhabited the northwestern and southwestern shores of Africa. Act 7. All members must promptly attend their meetings and become a part and a parcel of all uplifting acts of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Members must pay their dues and keep in line with all necessities of the Moore Science Temple of America. Then you are entitled to the name of faithful. Husband, you must support your wife and children. Wife, you must obey your husband and take care of your children and look after the duties of your household. 
Sons and daughters must obey father and mother and be industrious and become a part of the uplifting of fallen humanity. All Moorish Americans must keep their hearts and minds pure with love and their bodies clean with water. This divine covenant is from your holy prophet, Noble Drew Ali, through the guidance of his father, God Allah. Noble Drew Ali founded Moorish American Prayer, Allah, the father of the universe, the father of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Allah is my protector, my guide, and my salvation by night and by day through his holy prophet, Drew Ali. Amen. The Moore Science Temple of America, home office, Baltimore, Maryland, in association with Indianapolis, Indiana, subordinate temple number 13. Moors, I will now take a reading from the great meeting is on. Quran questions for Moorish Americans, pages seven and eight. Questionary and additional laws for the Moorish Americans by the Prophet Noble Jurali. Act one. Grand sheiks and governors and heads of all temples, all businesses. Each said temple must be approved by the Prophet Noble Jurali before acting upon by any member. Let it be finance, property, or any line of life that will cause the member to sacrifice finance, etc. That will cause the support of any group of members. Any former officer that violates these laws is subject to be removed from his office under a heavy restriction, etc., by the Prophet or the Grand Sheik. Act 2. All members are to attend their ad hoc meetings and their public meetings promptly. If a member is found standing around in their meeting period, shall be fined 50 cents on the first case, and on the second, he will be fined $1, which will go on your emergency fund. If member is working, his monthly dues must be paid, and if he has money in the bank, he must subscribe for as much as he is able to the Moorish Uplifting Fund because it takes finance to uplift a nation. Act 3. It is lawful and divine duty of every good member if he is able in finance to aid me in saving the nation. If he does not, he is an enemy to the cause of uplifting his own people, and justice must catch you. Let it be he or she according to love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. As I have the power invested in my hands and I will have to enforce the law in order to save the nation. Act four. All members while making a public speech must not use any assertion against the American flag or speak radical against the church or any member of any organized group because we ought to teach love, truth, peace, freedom and justice. Act five. All members must promptly attend their meetings and send their children to Sunday school and the teacher must confirm himself to the questionnaire. And that every member exercises five senses who is able to do so because out from your Sunday school comes the guiders of the nation. Act six. With us, our members must proclaim their nationality. We are teaching our people their nationality and their divine creed that they may know that they are part and parcel of this said government and know that they are not Negroes, color folks, black people or Ethiopians. Because these names were given to slaves by slaveholders in 1779 and lasted until 1865 during the time of slavery. But this is a new era of time now and all men now must proclaim their free national name to be recognized by the government in which they live and the nations of the earth. This is the reason why Allah, the great God of the universe, ordained noble Drew Ali the prophet to redeem his people from their sinful ways. The Moorish Americans are the descendants of the ancient Moabites who inhabited northwestern and southwestern shores of Africa. Act 7. All members must promptly attend their meetings and become a part and a parcel of all uplifting acts of the Moore Science Temple. Members must pay their dues and keep in line with all necessities of the Moore Science Temple. Then you are entitled to the name of faithful. Husband, you must support your wife and children. Wife, you must obey your husband and take care of your children and look after the duties of your household. Sons and daughters must obey father and mother and be industrious and become a part of the uplifting of father humanity. All Moorish Americans must keep their hearts and minds pure with love and their bodies clean with water. This divine covenant is from your holy prophet, noble Drew Ali, through the guidance of his father God, Allah. Okay, Morris, one moment. I'm going to take a reading here. I'm still have to officially open up the temple. I'm going to take a reading here from... Uh, Page five, 
of our Circle 7 Quran here, page 5. And I'm going to read chapter 2, Education of Mary and Elizabeth and Zoan Egypt. And I'm going to read from page from uh, from verses six to eight. Now, Mary and Elizabeth were marveling much because of their deliverance. Eli, you said it is not strange. There are no happenings. Law governs all events from older time. It was ordained that you would be with us in this sacred school and be taught Islam. We have now. Officially open. Now, customarily, what we do is we go through the we go through the one on ones in full. And I feel like because each week we are gaining new people, I don't know where everybody is along the walk on the way. So I re I'm making a motion that we uh, continue that tradition of going through the whole one on ones. Uh, because there are people here that are new and I don't know which video they're going to look at, but technically you only have to read 10 of them and then officially Sunday school is Sunday school. But because I know there are new people here, I want them to get the gist of what all the keys mean. Can I Can I get a second? Sure. Islam, thank you, Mo. Okay. Um... I'm going to start with the keys now. These, are, This is what's called our Quran questions for Moorish Americans. If you do not have one, uh, these are all part of your temple Jews. Okay. You get these whenever you join an official Moorish science temple and you should have all of your documents sealed. This is how you know that you're with an official Moorish science temple. I know a lot of times... You can now get everything off of Amazon or you can go online and things of that nature. But the correct way that the Prophet Noble Drew Ali did it to make it official to get all of your temple Jews. You want to make sure you get them from a, a recognized legally and lawfully charter temple. And I didn't say it this time, but you should always give honors to the charter. Because this is what gives us the, the, the divine authority under the Honorable Prophet Noble Drew Ali to teach and instruct and to uplift is based on the charter that we that you see me holding right in front of you right now okay it's not because that's our authority and the prophet gave us our authority on the on the back of the 101 it's actually an affidavit and this is our authority okay this is the purpose of sunday school so if you don't know how to proclaim your nationality how to be a more what a more is and what constitutes a more to keep you from having people say that you're black or Negro or African American. The Prophet Noble Drew Ali gave us the correct term of how we should be classified in law and how we should identify ourselves in law on all official documents, birth certificate, social security card, uh, and your driver's license. So we're gonna go into our official meeting. Islam, everybody. Allah. Okay, who made you? Allah. Allah. Who is Allah? Allah is the father of the universe. Can we see him? No. Where is the nearest place we can meet him? In the heart. Who is Noble Drew Ali? He is Allah's prophet. What is a prophet? Prophet is a thought of a law manifested in the flesh. What is the duty of a prophet? To save nations from the wrath of the law. Who is the founder of the Moore Science Temple of America? Noble Drew Ali. What year was the Moore Science Temple of America founded? 1913 A.D. Where? Newark, New Jersey. Where was Noble Drew Ali born? In the state of North Carolina, 1886. What is his nationality? Moorish American. What is your nationality? Moorish American. Why are we Moorish American? Because we are descendants of Moroccans and born in America. I'm going to repeat that just so we can make the tape. Why are we Moorish Americans? 
because we are descendants of Moroccans and born in America. For what purpose was the Moorish Science Temple of America founded? For the uplifting of fallen humanity. I'm going to repeat it just so it can make the tape. For what purpose was the Moorish Science Temple of America founded? For the uplifting of fallen humanity. Islam. How did the prophet begin to uplift Moorish Americans? By teaching them to be themselves. How did the prophet begin to uplift Moorish Americans? By teaching them, teaching them to, to be, be themselves. themselves. What is our religion? Islam is Is that a new or is that the old time religion? Old time religion. Is that the new or is that the old time religion? Old time religion. What kind of flag is the Moorish? It is a red flag with a five pointed green star in the center. What do the five points represent? Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. How old is our flag? It is over 10,000 years old. How old is our flag? It is over, over 10,000 10, years, years old. Which is our holy day? Friday. Friday. Why? Because Friday is the day on which man was formed in flesh, and it was on Friday when he departed out of flesh. Who was Jesus? He was a prophet of Allah. Who was Jesus? He was a prophet of Allah. Where was he born? In Bethlehem of Judah in the house of David. Who were his father and mother? Joseph and Mary. Will you give in brief the line genealogy through which Jesus came? Some of the great fathers through which Jesus came are Abraham, Boaz by, Boaz by Ruth, Jesse, King David, Solomon, Hezekiah, and Joseph by Mary. Why did Allah send Jesus to this earth? To save the Israelites from the iron hand oppression of the Palestinian nations of Europe who were governing a portion of Palestine at that time. Why did Allah send Jesus to this earth? To save the Israelites from the iron hand oppression of the pale skin nations of Europe who were governing a portion of Palestine at that time. Thank you. How long has that been? About 2,000 years ago. What was the nationality of Ruth? Ruth was a Moabitess. What is the modern name for the Moabites? Moroccans. What is the modern name for the Moabites? Moroccans. What is the modern name for the Moabites? Moroccans. Moroccans. What? Where is the Moroccan Empire? Northwest of Mexico. Where is the Moroccan Empire? Northwest North of Mexico. Mexico. What is the modern name for a Mexum? Africa. What is the modern name for a Mexum? Africa. Africa. What is the title given to our ruler in Morocco? Sultan. Sultan. Where do we get the name Jesus? From the east. What does the name Jesus mean? Jesus means justice. justice. Did the angel give to the child that was called Jesus a holy name? Yes, but it cannot be used by those who are slaves to sin. What is an angel? An angel is a thought of Allah manifested in human flesh. What are angels used for? To carry messages to the four corners of the world to all nations. What is our prophet to us? He is an angel of Allah who was sent to bring us the everlasting gospel of Allah. What is the everlasting gospel? It is a saving power that comes from Allah through our ancient fathers by his prophets. What is the everlasting gospel of Allah? It is a saving power that comes from Allah through our ancient fathers by his prophets. Key 18. Is that the new or is that the old time religion? Old time religion. Islam.
What is the covenant of the great God Allah? Honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the earth land which the Lord thy God Allah hath given thee. At what age did Jesus begin to teach? At the age of 12. 12. Where did he teach? India, Africa, and Europe. Where did he teach? India, India Africa, Africa, and Europe. How long did he teach? 18 years. How long did he teach? 18 years. years. What did Jesus say that will make you free? Truth. What is truth? Truth is art. What is art? Art is a law. Can truth change? Truth cannot change nor pass away. Can truth change? Truth cannot change or pass away. What other name do we give to truth? That's all right. Holy breath. Islam. Excuse me. Excuse me. That's all right. What have you to say about the holy breath? All we can say is that it is great. It is good. It was. It is, and ever more to be. Amen. Excuse me. Sister, you okay? I need some water. Okay, it's fine. got very dry. I understand. Going through these keys to do that to you. Keep your hearts and minds pure with love and our bodies clean with water, my sister. Okay. Um, at what place on earth was the physical part of man formed? In the Garden of Eden. Where is the Garden of Eden? In the land of Canaan and the city of Mecca. What is the modern name for the Garden of Eden? Mecca. What is the name of the first physical man? His name cannot be used. Only by executive rulers of the AC of the MST of A. What are the words of the AC of the MST of A? At that chamber of the Morris Science Temple of America, Third Heaven. Who were Adam and Eve? They are the mothers and fathers of the human family, Asiatics and Muslims. Where did they go? They went into Asia. Who is guarding the holy city of Mecca to keep the unbelievers away? What is the modern name given to their children? Asiatics. Okay. What is the modern name? Okay. Okay. Where did they go? They went into Asia. Who were Adam and Eve? They are the mothers and fathers of the human family, Asiatic to Muslims. Who is guarding the holy city of Mecca to keep the unbelievers away? Angels. What is the modern name to the, of these angels? Asiatics. What is the shade of their skin? Olive. Are the Moorish Americans any relation to these angels? Yes, we all have the same father and mother. Give five names that are given to the descendants of Adam and Eve. Lucifer, Satan, Devil, Dragon, and Beast. Okay. What is the devil sometimes called? Lower self. How many selves are there? Two. Name them. Higher self and lower self. How many selves are there? Two. Name them. Higher self and lower self. What people represent the higher self? The angels who protect the holy city of Mecca. What people represent the lower self? Those who are cast out of the holy city and those who accept their teachings. Can the higher self pass away? No. Why? <laughs> because it is a law in man. What does the lower self breed? Hatred, slander, lewdness, murders, death, and everything that harms. What did the higher self say to the lower self at one time when he met him? Where are you going, Satan? What was the answer that the lower self gave to the higher self? I am going to and fro the earth, seeking whom I may devour. Has he finished his task of devouring? 
Yes. When was his time declared out? When he nailed Jesus on the cross. What are the last words Jesus uttered? It is finished. What did he have reference to? He had reference to the end of Satan. Okay. Did Jesus say that he would return to conquer him? Yes. What is the first, what is the name of the first person into whom Jesus was first reincarnated? Prophet Muhammad the Conqueror. Was Satan to be bound then? Satan was to be bound in part. When was the head of Satan taken off? 1453 Byzantine. By whom? By Muhammad. Name some of the marks that were put on the upon the moors of Northwest by the European nations in 1774. Negro, black, color, Ethiopia. Negro. A name given to a river in West Africa by moors because it contains black water. What is meant by the word black? Black, according to science, means death. What does the word colored mean? Colored means anything that has been painted, stained, varnished, or dyed. What does Ethiopia mean? Ethiopia means something divided. Can a man be a Negro, Black, colored, or Ethiopian? No. Why? Because man is made in the image and after the likeness of God, Allah. What title does Satan give himself? God. Will you define the word white? White means purity. Purity means God. And God means ruler of the land. To whom do we refer to at times as being the great God? Allah. Is the devil made in the image and after the likeness of Allah? No, he is the shadow of our lower selves and will pass away. Islam. Okay. Um, who made the devil? Elohim. Who is Elohim? Elohim is the seventh created spirit that created everything that ever was, is, and ever more to be. What is Elohim sometimes called? The seven eyes of Allah. How many days are in a circle? Seven days. How many days are in in how many days are in creation? Pardon the body. Okay, according to science, how many days are in a year? Seven days. Okay, I want to thank you. This concludes this Sunday school portion of reading uh, of the one on one. This is a this is a sure foundation, y'all. I promise you that because when you go places. And you will go places and you start trying to explain to people when you first start that you are a Moorish American and that black, according to science, means death. You are going to want to be able to e elaborate and remember these keys because that's when you can tell somebody that black, according to science, means death. That Negro is a name of a river given by Moors in West Africa because it contains black water and that a man or a woman cannot be a Negro, black or colored. Because we are made in the image and after the likeness of our Father God Allah. You are going to want to have these on your temple. Trust and believe. Because our people have what's called the miseducation of the Negro. And because they've been miseducated, they also have been misdirected. All right. And they will have you think, feel and believe that you are African American and that you are black. And this here is our divine authority given by Allah by way of our prophet to give us that everlasting gospel, that old time religion. He gave us our religion of Islamism and gave us our nationality and referred everything back to the good book that the Christians used and said we are Moabites in ancient times. But in modern days, we are Moroccans. So this might sound redundant. It might sound old. It might sound out of place and out of step, but trust and believe this right here is the key to unlock so many doors to the mosaic path to actual freedom. Now, with that, I yield the floor and I turn the meeting over to our elders, which is the way it should be. You cannot have a real temple if you don't have elders. 
You got to have your elders. So if you got somebody talking about all oh, well, the elders are too old, where are you gonna get the knowledge from? You ain't you not you're not gonna get it unless you got some elders there. So this is how you get your recognition. You better sit down and shut up and listen to the older people that paved the way because you don't know enough to lead nobody yet. And y'all know who I'm talking to. So all you young moors that are out there filing this frivolous paperwork, making it look bad for the good moors that are trying to do things, with this class and lesson, lesson and lecture, we're going to go over a whole lot. We're going to go over the purpose of why Noble Juru Ali filed the incorporation the way he did for us to have our religious freedom. It wasn't for y'all to ride around smoking marijuana and drinking and getting pulled over by the police and then saying that the police officer does not have any jurisdiction over you. You are to be of good character and of good moral standard. It does us no good if you're going to have affairs on and get stopped by the police, have no license, you got pistols on you, and then you got pills. And then you want to file all this paperwork uh, talking about why the judge shouldn't lock you up. Some of y'all need to be locked up. Because you make the good moors look bad and you're outside the laws of what the prophet brought. So with that, I yield the floor. I say Islam and peace. And whichever one of the elders may speak first, I'm going to close my mouth. Islam, peace. Islam. Um, I rise and I give praise to the Almighty God of Allah. I give honor to all of his prophets. I give honor to all Sikhs and Sikhs everywhere. I give honor to all Moorish Americans naturalized and those who have not yet come into knowledge of self. I give honor to you, Mo, because you're keeping the embers going so that you spread the truth out and mowers have somewhere to go. They're looking for it, and I give honor to you for the work that you're doing on social media, something that I have absolutely no knowledge of or how to operate, so I give honor to you. I also give honor to Prophet Gibbons, Eo, reincarnated Prophet the Second, and Grand Sheik Richardson Dingle Eel, reincarnated Prophet the Third. And the Spirit is here with us. I set the picture here so that those Moors out there and whomever is looking in can see the teacher, physical teacher that I had and that Governor Maddox Bay had. We sat under this brother and learned everything I can say, I, everything I know about moral science, I learned from this good brother here. And he was very serious about his mission to uplift fallen humanity. And he didn't teach us foolishness, he taught us the law. So I often tell people, coming from Temple Number 13 under Richardson Dingle Eel, I'm a law person. Because that's what he gave us. He taught us the law. It's wrong. Um, I'm going to ask the governor if he would rather read the divine warning or if I could just go ahead and read it. Oh, your boy sister wouldn't read it. Pause for just one brief, brother governor. Scoot over because you, because you're not centering the camera. Scoot over, governor, please. He's in his view. I understand. If you could just scoot over. Okay, that's perfect. Sorry about that, sister. I apologize, people. That's, perfect. That's all right. Start of Crescent Salvation. Hand Crescent. Wait a minute. You can't see it. Let me. Start of Crescent Salvation. Hand Crescent Unity. Reading from the Morris Literature, the Morris Science Temple of America Incorporated. Prophet Noble Drew Ali, founder. Noble Drew Ali, the prophet and founder of the Morris Science Temple of America, to redeem the people from their sinful ways. I'll be reading the divine warning by the prophet Noble Drew Ali from the Morris literature. Prophet warns all Muslims, governors ordered to read proclamation at each meeting. I hereby inform all members that they must end all radical, agitating speeches while at work in their homes or on the streets. We are for peace and not destruction. Stop flashing your cards at Europeans. It causes confusion. Remember, your card is for your salvation. Failure to obey these orders will be of severe consequence. We are for love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. And when these principles are violated, justice must then take its course. Any member or group of members 
who hold malicious feelings toward the temple or the prophet or violate the law, the divine covenant of the Morrison movement will receive their reward from Allah for their unjust deeds. All true Moors will and must obey the law as laid down to them by their prophets. If they lose confidence in their prophet, they should turn in their car and button, cease wearing their turban and fez, and return to the state where I, the prophet, found you. This is a holy and divine movement founded by Prophet Noble Drew Ali. And if the prophet is not right, the temple is not right. The prophet, therefore, is sending out the divine plea to all Moorish Americans that they do their part in protecting their prophet and the temple. This is an everlasting movement founded by the prophet through the will of Allah to redeem his people from their sinful ways by order of Prophet Noble Drew Ali. Peace. I turn it, turn this portion over to Grand Governor. He's now today. Thank you, sister. Thank you. Islam, brothers and sisters, happy to be on a Sunday call. The day goes out from the Sunday school, comes the goddess of the nation. Islam. Islam. The prophet finds out from the light. We come from the light, and from the light we shall return if we demonstrate the light. Islam. Islam. So I'm happy to be here and happy to uh, speak and exercise my five senses. Uh, this week, uh, I was just trying to prepare something that relates to the Earth Chronicle and um, and uh, the creation and fall of man, as well as um, other creation stories of the natives, people around the world, because they are conjunctive with the flood story. Uh, but uh, we have a guest on the call today. Brother, uh, what's, what's your first name, Mo? Clyde. 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 Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, and this is uh, very, very important. All our people are coming together now. All our people know that it's something that's getting ready to happen or going down. A lot of, a lot of us don't know exactly what it is, but we know that something is coming down the pike. And it's against all our people, Islam. And so we come into, uh, or we get on this ark, if you will, this ship. And this ship will sail us to uh, a Garden of Eden, if you will. And I'm saying the ark, the Garden of Eden, uh, these, these things are allegorical for things that happened a long time ago that put our people in a uh, a better place than what was created on uh, uh, had been created on earth through the evil doors as we see what's taking place uh, as we speak it's a lot it's a lot going on and our people have to be put in, uh, in a uh, environment a shelter so to speak Islam and this is the purpose of the more science temple uh, 1913, the prophet established it in, in North New Jersey, New Ark. He's putting that on our mind, the Ark, the boat, right? Because the flood is coming. And so he, uh, the, the movement, he couldn't set his movement up the way he really wanted to in Newark, New Jersey. So he had to take a journey, right? And he had to travel westward to a place called Illinois. Islam? Islam. When he reached Illinois, he found the laws conducive for him. Now, when you say Illinois, you're dealing with illuminate, illumination, right? And that's and that's on point because it was a luminate uh, character in Illinois uh, before before Prophet Noble Dwali died, none other than Abraham Lincoln, who was who was a light for the world. And what he did was phenomenal. I can't get into all the details, but let me say this. Uh, he didn't just free what was called the so-called Negroes, Blacks, or Coloreds. He freed a mixed multitude of people of all 
nations that were caught in the slaveryism in this part of the world at that time. Islam. Uh, and so when the prophet uh, applied the herds, which was in Illinois, that was the law necessary for him to set his uh, movement up. Based on Smith heard the Bible statues. Okay, this is very important, very significant. Because the Negroes, black coloreds, were under what you call civil rights at the time. This is really bringing us back in line under our divine and human rights and under constitutional rights. Islam. Uh, like I said before, I was, I was dealing with a number of things. Uh, this past week, as it relates to the Earth Chronicle, I was trying to get that. I thought I was going to uh, touch upon that, but that's okay. Uh, uh, just to let the brother know that all Asiatics were considered uh, are Asiatics and of, of Moorish descent. Those two things uh, bring all of us together as a people. Going back to the first peoples, when you when you uh, study the Quran, you read Surah two, Ayat two thirteen, that stated all mankind was one. What happened to our humanity? Slavery is what happened to our humanity. This is why we still have the European name today. Okay, John Smith, Brown, William Jones, Lopez, Perez, Garcia, etc. If Mr. Garcia is a Catholic and he's doing business with Mr. Johnson and Mr. Johnson is a Baptist, all those 5,000 slaves that Mr. Lopez has that he sold to Mr. Johnson become Johnson and Baptist. Right? So when Prophet Noble Ali nationalized us, I didn't say naturalized, that word comes in, but not at this point. When Prophet Noble Dwali nationalized us, he took us from under the Roman yoke and brought us into his society. Now we got to understand something. We didn't know what we had before the Prophet came. But following Prophet Noble Dwali's guideline, his spirit, and his love, we come to find out that it, it all belongs to us. We're not in a European country. We're not in France, Ireland, Germany, England. We, we are technically what is called, according to law, Egypt of the West. Okay? These are our coordinates. Uh, as Lincoln said, there's three things that comprise the nation, the people, the territory, and the law. So we're not in a European um, we're not in a European land. We're in our own land. We became strangers and slaves in our own land through conquest. Okay? And it was conquest under Christianity. This is how most of us became Christians. The majority of our people became Christians. Alright? Uh, it's the Christianity is not what we think it is, not what it's being portrayed today. You know, it was very decadent, very brutal, very violent, you know, a lot of rape, incest, a lot of that took place. And that was the whole demonstration to, uh, to break our spirit and our will and our consciousness from our nation. Uh, as, as the prophet st stated in the literature, uh, the Moorish Americans were not slept paid. We were bound free men and women. But the generation uh, that my, who mine had been subjugated to a European psychology, they became slaves because they couldn't trace who they were. They didn't know who their forefathers were. It separated them from the lustrous history of our forefathers. So in this hemisphere, in this Egypt of the West, one of the oldest people that we come to know uh, in uh, in the south 
is the old Max. They're one of the oldest and most mystified. So let me read a little bit about these people. <coughs> of all the lost civilizations of Mesoamerica, that of the old Mac is the oldest and the most mystified. It was by all accounts the mother of civilization. Copied and ad adapted by all others. That's the Mayas, the Aztecs, and all the rest of them. It dawned along the Mexican coast at the beginning of the second millimeter BC. It was in full bloom at 40 at 40 sites by 12 BC. Now we're talking about 12 BC, 8 BC, 9 BC. We're talking around the time of David. Okay, if not a little bit before that. Because you, you don't find over there in Jerusalem and they haven't found it to this day, the city of David. They have not found that over there. Okay. Spreading in all directions, but mainly southward, it made its mark across Mesoamerica by 8 BC. The first Mesolithic writing appeared in the Olmec realm. So does Mesoamerica's system of numeration of dots and bars. The first long count, calendar inscription with the enigmatic starting date of 3113 BC. Anybody heard that date before? No, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is, this is supposed to be the date coming from uh, this realm, the Olmax, where it made reference to the end of the world and the beginning of a new world. Islam. Islam. The first works of magnificent and monument sculpted art, the first use of jade, the first depiction of handheld weapons or tools, the first ceremonial. Uh, centers, the first celestial orientation, all were achievements of the old man. And what your ancient forefathers were, you are today without doubt or contradiction. We have been scattered. We have been hoodwinked. We have been run amok. And this is why we seem different to each other. And we all are the same people. Islam. Islam. And all that people. See? And it goes on to say that the uh, no wonder with so many first some uh, as uh, J. Uh, Stout Stella, the Omex have, com uh, have compared the Olmec civilization of Mesoamerica to that of the Sumerians in Mesopotamia, which account for all the first in the ancient East. And like the Sumerian civilization, the Olmec too appeared suddenly without precedent of a prior period of gradual advancement. In other words, when they came across the history, the history was already in bloom. It has no starting reference point. All this is our history. And so now we see why we were separated from the lessons history of our forefathers. That's just a little bit on our history in this part of the world. But Brother Perez, I want to uh, come home a little bit. Oh, uh, boy, let me get this baby over here. Oh, uh, boy, boy. Uh. I'm going to be brief with this, brother. But this is very, this is very powerful stuff. Because, uh, a lot of our people don't talk about this. Because they've been sworn to secrecy, okay? But in this part of the world, brother, we have set up a government. It was first 
was initiated a long time ago before the Europeans even came over by what is called the Iroquois Federation. Wow. So the Iroquois Federation, as the Europeans are coming in and they begin to write the history, uh, we they record the history of the 35 Moors and the 20 Europeans. Now you got to remember that going going back to ancient times, if you want to go back to the Punic Wars, we can start at the Punic Wars and come on down. Because remember, uh, this was about 200 or 150 years before our brother Yahshua, who we call Jesus Christ, came on earth. And then the wars, 600 years after that, the first person into whom Jesus was first reincarnated was Prophet Muhammad. And they fought against the Roman empires in the east. And they defeated the Roman empires in Islam. So it was defeated during the time of uh, Prophet Muhammad. And then it was defeated in 1453 by Muhammad the Turk. Islam. So this is very important. This is very important because our people don't know government and they don't know what happened in the past. And if you don't know what happened in the past, you can't sidestep what's going to take place in the future because you would you won't see it coming, right? So just to let you know, brother, in this part of the world, we had a government here. And I'm going to read you uh, what I'm about to get into is the history of the 35 Moors and 20 Anglo-Saxons. Before the Moors went totally under on this side of the Mediterranean, in this hemisphere, right, they left laws and they left a system of equity under what is called the Constitution. That's wrong. And uh, the slaveholding community was, was definitely trying to upgrade that and create a fiction history that stated that we had no rights that a white man was bound to respect. Islam. So here we go with that history. We're refuting that history. And we're showing that we dealt with it, that we had the government. Islam. And that, that remember now that the union that brought the Constitution into existence is much older than the Constitution. That's what we got to understand. That when it, when this union initiated, this was in the times immemorial. And he's, as a matter of fact, even the people of Yahshua, they were called unionists. So it's a connection there. All the way up until uh, 1787. All right, and this is Abraham Lincoln, the prophet president. You'll find out more about that later as we go into the story. The Union is much older than the Constitution. It was formed, in fact, by the Arms of Association in 1774. It was matured and continued in the Declaration of Independence in 1776. It was further matured in the faith of all of them 13 states expressing and plighted and engaged that it should be perpetual by the Articles of Confederation in 1778. And finally, in 1787, one of the declared objects for establishing and ordaining the Constitution was, uh, excuse me, orda uh, ordaining and establishing the Constitution was to form a more there's that code that's that code word perfect union now what did that what was the key factor in the constitution in order for them to form a more perfect union what was the, that key factor was the 1808 clause so by 1808 all slavery was to be abolished but when 1808 came around, brother, the Moors, as well as the Europeans, was we produced profits off of slavery. See, it ain't just one side. What we talking about, we're talking about 
the higher self and the lower self. Islam. We're not talking about a person got out our complexion and they okay when they do wrong. We ain't talking about that. We were right. We got to be about the principles of the higher self. Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. The five highest principles known to man. Islam. These things got to be established. These teachings got to be, these pieces got to go forth to the people at large. They got to be able to distinguish from the higher self and the lower self. Because without the truth from the higher self and the lower self, our people are always be put in big bag. Islam, that's what's taking place with a lot of the so-called black politicians. They can't distinguish that a game is being run on them. They don't know how to fight against them. Because they're not themselves. And they're not in comedy with their God. Islam. But if the destruction of the union by one or by part only of the states be lawfully possible, the union is less than before. The Constitution having lost a vital element of perpetuity. Now we taking an oath to come back into the constitutional fold to uphold that constitution, the constitution as it was. And in doing so, we got the leverage now to fight against all enemies, man, foreign and domestic. Do you know what that means? We can set our house in order. We have our nationality. That put us on an equal footing with other nations. And we have the Constitution. We now, we have gained control of law. If you don't think prophet, no would you lead a prophet? Then watch his prophecies. Watch his prophecies. His prophecies being unfolded every day. <laughs> you see, I'm going to make them tell the truth. I'm going to make them tell the truth on what they kept from you. Not only did they put the brother who we call Jesus Christ in their image. They put all the founding fathers in their image. Mm. You understand? Once they did that with our brother a long time ago, that was their format to do it to all our people in all our history. And that's what they've done. And now we can claim it and push forward with, with the correct understanding. Islam. Islam. So now here we go. This is the history of us setting up the uh, uh, the Constitution and constitutional history that they kept from the Asiatics. Lincoln challenges Tanny historical facts. Now, what Tanny am I talking about? I'm talking about Roger B. Tanny. Where did he hail from? He hailed from Maryland. What did he render? What decision did he render? The Dred Scott decision. No rights given to a Negro that a white man is bound to respect. Islam? So here's Lincoln. I said in substance that the Dred Scott decision was in part based on assumed historical facts which were not really true. And I ought not to leave the subject without giving some reason for saying this. I therefore give an instance of two, which I think fully sustains me. Chief Justice Panny, in delivering the majority of the opinion of the court, insists at great length that Negroes were no part of the people who made and for whom was made the Declaration of Independence or the Constitution. Declaration of Independence or the Constitution of the United States. On the contrary, Justice Curtis, in his dissent opinion, shows that in five of the 13 states to which New Hampshire Massachusetts, New York, New Jersey, and North Carolina. 
free Muslim voters and in proportion to their number as the same part in making the Constitution that white people had. He, white means what? Purity. Purity means what? God. God means what? Rule of the land. Rule of the land. This is what it's saying. That's why the prophet got it in his one on one. White means purity, purity means God, God. He knew that we were going to come across this history. It's not. In other words, from our own union, we brought this document into existence. Islam, before we went under. Now remember, it was a lot of cross fighting at that time, before that, before that time, with the different, not only just with the Europeans, but it was with the Asiatics too. Because the two brothers from the Iroquois Federation, and this was a long time ago, went to the tribes to tell the tribes, stop Stop these wars amongst each other. Like Elijah and Elisha. Stop these wars. Stop this hatred. Burn the axe. If you don't, you, you got people coming from afar, from a long country, and they're going to put you in a terrible condition. Okay? And that became prophecy. Now, this is Justice Curtis as a sort of conclusion on that point. The Constitution was ordained and established by the people of the United States through the action in each state of those persons who are qualified by its laws to act their own behalf of themselves and all other citizens of the states. Now, if you can, it's a good history of the people that we thought were white in this country, right? It's on the internet. I, I forgot the author's name uh, uh, that put it out, but it's on it's on the internet, and it's on there regular. And a lot of people that he names who we thought were European, that he talked about that white, were actually brothers that they changed their complexion in time. And change their description. Like Daniel Webster. I didn't know Daniel Webster was a mo. But they used to call him Black Dad. And they said he was the darkest of his brothers and sisters. And he was the most intelligent. And other brothers. I didn't know that uh, the, the, the brother that wrote the book called the great conspiracy, John Logan. I didn't know he was a brother. Wow, I didn't know that either. Wow. Yeah. And this is deep. This is deep. And the most of all, all the people in the past that did great things was was that was us. Okay? Was our people. So they took our history, huh? So here we go. Of those persons who were qualified by his law to act, they on to behalf of themselves and all other citizens of the states. In some of the states, we have seen more persons who are among those qualified by law to act on the subject. What subject is that? To bring the Constitution into existence. These more persons were not only included in the body of the people of the United States by whom the Constitution was ordained and established, but in at least five of the states, they held elect they held the power to act and doubtfully did act by their suffrage upon the question of its adoption, which means we brought it into existence. We brought it into existence. And that that was so it would be each in its hemisphere that we would have a guideline in which to operate. Everybody could operate, have their own autonomy, right? And everybody respect everybody's rights. Hence, Article 4, Section 4. In terms of the recognition and the, and the wealth of the country, in terms of uh, 
if you need this from the government or you need that from the government, Article 4, Section 1, which deal with full faith and credit. Islam. There was only 55 framers of, 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 of the Constitution. Am I right or wrong, sister? Is that it? That's right. 55 framers. 35 was more and 20 was Europeans. Now, where do you get the history of 35 from? The more sent a delegation of seven people from, from, from five states. Five times seven is what? 35. 35. See, what, what's what Rome is trying to do, because he's always trying to make you look in the minority, right? And you know what the term minority means? Childlike. It don't mean what the, the unconscious age think it means. It means childlike. You can't you can't handle your affairs. So you are minority. Now let me say this: that both Abraham Lincoln and Justice Curtis were Moors. They were the party that they were from. It was called later the Wigger Moor Party. Mm. But as a uh, great man Sheik say. Uh, remove that adjective. So let's remove the adjective. Let's remove we. And you have what party? The Moors party. And what is the mascot of the Moors party? Is the what? Is it the jackass or the elephant? The elephant. <laughs> the elephant. And the elephant is symbolic of what? Hannibal. Huh? Hannibal. That's right. Hannibal and Azoka, Hannibal in the Moor city of Carthage, now Tunisia, and Azoka in India. Azoka is the brother that he became a patronage of uh, Buddha. Okay, he had he warred with the elephants too. So these are our, these are our forefathers. And these are the principles of our forefathers. And that's why the record say, honor your father and your mother, that your days be lifted upon the earth land, which the Lord thy father God Allah has given thee. Islam? Islam. Man, what the fuck is because I like to do this. I like to, I like to uh, say a do what for us as we go through these laws and histories. It's quick so down we stop the you know. So bear with me one second. I got the Holy Quran and Method here. I'm going to the back of the book where it's short. Matter of fact, I know which one I'm gonna deal with. I'm gonna deal with time. If I can find it. I'm gonna go along. Bear with me. Islam, love. Islam. Uh, I was going to say it. I, I know it by heart. I, I was a, yeah, Islam. This is time through the ages. Uh, in the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. By the time through the ages, man is at a loss, except such as have faith, do righteous deeds, and join together in a mutual joining of truth and have patience and constancy. And that's a very important uh, prayer. In the back of the Quran, you have short verses of prayers. Some are five ayats, some are four ayats, some are three ayats. Here's one on abundance, Islam. To thee, we have granted thee fountains of abundance. Therefore, to thy Lord, turn in prayer and sacrifice. For he has, for, for he who hate thee will be cut off from future hope. Don't take these prayers don't just 
these prayers are serious and these prayers have great effect on our on our lives uh what we see and what we don't see because it helps us tremendously with our ifs and nefs islam so we always want to invoke when we deal with these long history because our forefathers were prayerful and they stayed in prayer and in order for us to get out of this this confusion that we in that's going to be the door another another chamber door that'll be open for us so i'm, I'm happy to see you sister Yikita, how you been Islam, my brother, peace and love to you. I, yes. I just, I'm just getting leaving the hospital. How's he doing there? Uh, medical wise, fair uh, on the physical level, but you know he hasn't been ex-military. They go through their PTSD episodes, yes. so I'm dealing with the mental aspect of it. Yes. Well, sister, I'm glad you, I'm glad you got on the call today. Uh, we got some things you heard it before, you know. Um, but as as we know, society is far high with difficulty, and we must rise to meet the difficulty. And we can't we can't deal with the civil rights no more. That's over. That's done. Right? We have to deal with our human and divine rights. And the mold laid out four half years ago. Right? When we consider the proclamation, y'all just keep in mind this. When you read the proclamation, it is really the Mosaic Code. That's what this whole thing is about. That's what this whole thing is about. They was trying to get us off the Mosaic Code. Abraham Lincoln brought us back on the path of the Mosaic Code. Islam? Ain't, Islam. It, ain't it strange that Charles Burr, who was a slaveholder, introduced this he was directed to do that by by uh mr holland who was a friend of abraham lincoln see they knew what the deal was right but the people that held in bondage for years they lost track of what transpired remember we couldn't read the constitution and we couldn't read the divine scripture so this that part was lost our people as long so what introduced the proclamations, the 1320, Islam brothers and sisters, what I'm saying to you is that the proclamations in amendment form is the 1320. The 1320, the first section of that 1320 states that the people can have a right to assemble and worship God according to the dictates of their own conscience. You couldn't do that. We couldn't do that at that time. For 250 years, before 1865, right, we were held in the You know, and uh, at that time, see, that's why, that's why the, the uh, that's why the, uh, uh, this history is important because um, what what this does is bring us to a uh, I see yeah, well, let me let me get my thought out that, that it, it brings us to a, um, a level of going back to see what was done to us you follow me and see what we have to recover as long so you, you got to remember the thinking of your enemy. Your enemy think that it's all over with. We did that to them a long time ago. They don't know about that. But there is a God, and he did send his prophet. And that prophet, no one at least said, Mo, I gave y'all something that you can shout about. You can shout to the world about it. At the Pan American Conference, Prophet Noah Dwali nationalized 72 nations. Wow. Brought them back to the Moore Foundation. Wow. That's important, Mo. That's extreme. 
We can't be checked. You will be self-checked if you don't if you don't follow the prophet. Okay. So that's why it's always a caveat to this information. Caveat empty. Let the buyer beware. Let the buyer beware. As long as you want to say that. It's long. I just want to ask C. Power Hill if we had uh, how much time left in the meeting because I don't have a um, yeah. uh, what do you call it? clock in front of me. I understand. Yeah. Right now the time is 420 Eastern Standard Time. And according to Act 2, we are to uh, open and close meetings oh. of, of, according to the Circle 7 and Love, Truth, Peace, Freedom, and Justice. Now, with that being said, I, I love the spirit of the group. And I know that we rolling and I didn't want to be rude and interrupt, but I wanted to, cause I know we going to go after we close. We normally, we normally go man for hours after this, but I didn't want you to feel like you had to stay just in case you had a, another family obligation or something like that, that you got to do. Maybe you got to go to dinner or anything like that. But I, I didn't get a chance to really get into the, it wasn't meant to be. But we always can meet during the week uh, for all of us. If you have questions, comments, or want to know about how to proclaim your nationality uh, and how to go about becoming uh, a Moorish American and getting your attribute, your Moorish American title of Illa Bay put on your name, we're always available to discuss. But we want to make sure that we keep everything business. Brother Perez, while we got a few more minutes, I wanted to open the floor to make sure you were okay because he's our guest and we don't never want to overburden our people because we want them to come back next week whether they're viewing on the call virtually or whether they're sitting with us here are you okay brother and do you have any questions oh i'm, I'm great fantastic um i wanted to interject earlier when um the elder was speaking about um the omex during uh the pandemic when things started opening up me and my wife had took a trip to Mexico, and um, it's right here on the side of me. And he kept mentioning the Olmec, so I just want to share this with y'all. Mm. This is an Olmec mask. Yes, we do a lot. Yeah. It's made of it's made of selenite and turquoise. This is straight from Mexico. Yes. This good great bowl. Islam, uh, uh, Kali, I just wanted to say something, and everything that was said today. Um, and, and the old mask that the brother just showed, I wanted to, and, and since we don't have time today, maybe next Sunday we'll be able to do it, but I wanted to go to chapter 45 and chapter 47 of the Holy Quran of War Science Temple, Circle 7, because the prophet made it very, very clear in these chapters who we are as we get back to the ancient our ancient names and chapter 47 that I want to read and demonstrate on is a map to show us who we are how we got to this part of the world long before the European left Europe and it, it just it, it really substantiates the history that we can back up so the prophet went traveled all over the four corners of the world so that he could bring this information to us condensed so that we can understand it. But I just wanted to read a, just two ayats out of this chapter 45, the divine origin of the Asiatic nations. The fallen sons and daughters of the Asiatic nation of North America need to learn to love instead of hate and know of their higher self and lower self. This is the uniting of the Holy Quran of Mecca for teaching and instructing Moorish Americans. The key to civilization was and is in the hands of the Asiatic nations, the Moorish, who were the ancient Moabites and the founders of the holy city of Mecca, the Egyptians, who were the Hamatites and of a direct descendant of Nismaim, Arabians, the Sita Hagar, Japanese and Chinese, the Hindus of India, the descendants of the ancient Canaanites, Hittites, and Moabites, from the land of Canaan, the Asiatic nations and countries in North, South, Central America, 
the Moorish Americans and Mexicans in, in, in Mexicans in North America, Brazilians, Argentinians, and Chileans in South America, Colombians, Nicaraguans, and the natives of San Salvador in Central America. All of these are Muslims. The Turks are the true descendants of Hagar, who are the chief protectors of the Islamic creed of Mecca, beginning from Muhammad the first, the founder of the uniting of Islam by the command of the great universal God, Allah. So the prophet telling us who we are, he went back to the ancient times, so that we don't get confused by what the European has infiltrated our minds with about who we are and who our brothers and sisters are all over the world. So he gave us this direction so that we know how to recognize each other. And then next week, inshallah, our chapter 47 is Egypt, the capital empire of the dominion of Africa. And what was Africa called before? A Mexia. And what's Mexico? Part of a Mexia, holding on to that part of our uh, heritage. Out that part of our history. So I really wanted to thank you, brother, for allowing me the opportunity. I really wanted to read that because it falls in line with everything that's been said in Sunday school today. Islam. Peace. Thank you. I turn the meeting over to uh, Chief Powell. Eel. Okay, Islam. And thank you, brother governor, because really, man, when you come on, we miss you, brother. Because you give so much history, you give a great dialogue, yes, and you don't see it, but when we post these, uh, when I post the lectures or the Sunday schools after the week, man, the people are jumping off the page, man, uh, saying, bring the governor back, and when is the governor coming back on? And they say, man, you hit a home run when you found that mo, because you don't have a lot of elder brothers like yourself that can recall that history like you do. It's you know wrong. what I mean? So you're, you're not... Insignificant, brother governor, and I, 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 I love it. I, I want to keep rolling, but uh, you know, I just want to, for the benefit of the tape, because uh, I, I just want to make sure that we keep everything in formality. But if everybody's okay and you don't, if you need a restroom break or something like that, we not nitpicking. But I want everybody to get comfortable enough and know each other enough that we that we do that. Just like how the sister just got up and got her some water, and she did that and came right on back. So we're not funny acting and we're not bougie and snooty moors. We're upright and, you know, courteous moors. So, I mean, uh, we can keep the formality and, uh, read the, uh, read the Asiatic covenant and close, but then still go. Uh, how do y'all, I always want to present things to the group. How are we feeling? Do y'all have to leave? Y'all got things y'all got to do or what? I got to leave. That's fine, brother. That's fine. Yes, no harm, no foul, brother. That's fine. Only thing we ask is, yes, ma'am. Islam, I, I I stepped in kind of late because I told you all I was at the VA hospital. I still in that direction. I had to go. I had to step away for a minute because I needed to go outside. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go back up because I visited my visiting time. Is at a certain time, but I I don't like to miss the meetings. I was about to get in where I could get in for a few minutes and hear something. So I may have to step away to go back in to go up on the elevator or, or again. And if it's because um, uh, my husband gets very belligerent when he thinks somebody tried to sneak out on him, even though I've been told him that I have to step away for a while. He's lying. Is it okay, so I, sister? I, 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 Excuse me. So I'm just asking the brothers and sisters to bear with me. It won't always, don't always be like this. But you know, you know me, brother Paul. If I'm even traveling, I'll try to pull over to the side of the road or something just to get in. You know. So I'm hoping. Uh, I hope you all can hear me. Islam, okay. we can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. okay. Right. Now we quit. Two things, sister. So, Two things. So. Peace. Uh, I'm gonna pull away to go back up, but uh, I'll try to tap back in and get the the, the recall or the uh, recording. So I, I don't know what, what, but I'm on the same page with everyone. Islam. Okay, sister, can you hear me? Islam, good to see Brother Maddox too. Islam. 
Peace and love. Peace is love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Okay, brother Perez. Uh, there's no compulsion in this line. We don't force you to stay, but uh, okay. Uh, you can leave, but we, we are gonna close and do the Mor Morris prayer. You don't have to do it, anything like that. But I'm just giving you the formality. Uh, but that's okay. that's that's fine, brother. Uh, All right. Uh, look, look like the other sister left, brother Maddox Bay. Can you hear me? Uh, Mo Moab, can you demonstrate the Asiatic Covenant, Chapter 25? Islam, Islam, brother, brother. You don't have to repeat that. Just let me, let me say it. Islam? Islam. Ye are the children of one father, provided for by his care, and the breast of one mother has given ye suck. Let the bonds of affection, therefore, Unite thee with thy brothers, that peace and happiness may dwell in our Father's house. And when ye separate in the world, remember the relation that binds you to love and unity, and prefer not a stranger before thy own blood. If thy brothers in adversity, assist them. If thy sisters in trouble, forsake her not. So shall the forces of our Father contribute to the support of his own race, and his care be continued to you all in your love to each other. Peace. Peace. Thank you, Brother Matt Maddox Bay, for the demonstration there. Okay. Uh, the fallen sons and daughters of the Asiatic nation of North America need to learn to love instead of hate and to know of their higher self and lower self. This is the uniting of the Holy Quran of Mecca for the teaching and instructing of all Moorish Americans, etc., the Holy Quran and the Moorish Science Temple of America, know yourself and your Father God Allah that you may learn to love instead of hate. Every man need to worship under his own vine and fig tree, the uniting of Asia. At this time, all of those guests, friends, and well wishers who wish to pray with us may do so. It is customary in the Moorish Science Temple that you stand and face the east. Place your feet in a 45 degree angle, two on the right, five on the left. Sheiks, you know what to do. Uh, because we are virtual, you don't have to repeat the prayer, uh, but we do ask that you uh, do it in thought. Uh, Sheikha, since you're back on, you started the prayer. Can you lead us out in the prayer? You 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 uh, muted yourself. You muted yourself, sister. This law. Islam, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to give the sister a second. Let me give her a second. Uh, sometimes it's a, a lag time. I give her just a brief. If, if not, I, I go ahead and lead. The prayer is the most important part. I want to make sure we at least get that correct. But by her being a divine minister and being a sister, it's, 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 it's good to have her doing it if we, if we can. Okay, we having some complications with that. Uh, do it in thought, more. Allah, the Father of the universe, the Father of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Allah is my protector, my guide, and my salvation by night and by day. The was holy prophet, Jurali. Amen. Peace, more. Brother Perez, stick with us, man. Uh, give us a call during the week. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk about... Okay. The uh, proper okay. protocol. Islam knows, excuse me. I don't know what happened to my phone. I don't have, I have not a clue. Yeah. But I'm back. That's okay. I went on ahead and did the prayer, Sheikas, because the brother okay. Perez got to go. Uh, but get, Thank get, you. get back with us, Mo. I'll send you some information, but I want to okay. do it. See, a, a lot of times people are apprehensive and they're a little bit nervous about asking how to become a Moorish American with people that have been in the temple for over 45 years, right? And so the questions that you're going to ask is actually going to make it better in the near future for everybody else because this goes out all over the world, believe it or not. So I like to do a live stream like we're doing now and have you ask a thousand questions because the, you're, you're speaking for the people that can't speak or come on the, uh, the virtual program. 
So right. if we can set aside a time, it don't matter if it's two or three in the morning or, or three or four o'clock or one o'clock in the afternoon or six a.m. in the morning. Let us know and we can and we can prepare that for us, brother. You come with a hundred questions or better, then we can answer them line uh, by line. Is that is that all right? That's fine. Okay. Okay. So viewers, we're going to end now. We thank you. If y'all got questions, comments, or concerns, you know how we do, and we always respond. With that, we're going to end the call. Let me uh, bang the gavel. Feeding meeting is now officially adjourned. We come in love, but we leave in peace. Islam, Morris. Okay. I'm just ending the live stream, but we can all still talk, y'all. I'm just ending the live stream. I'm just ending the live stream, but we can all still talk.